and I'm just pulling into the airport. And I see an R44 on the ramp. That's probably our guys here to try to fix the R22. R22 had a mag problem getting ready for check ride. So I should find out here shortly what the scoop is. The idea is if they get the R22 up, I'm going to go out with Bruce and just do a quick little flight. Get my two best computers fired up. Do some more editing. What are you doing here on Saturday? I uh, stopped by to help Bruce with his uh, cross country plan. Who cares if you got to stop for fuel? No big deal to sleep 15 minutes earlier than you were. I'll just call him while I'm waiting on his oral. There you go. Yeah, and uh, I'll read through the rest of that uh, FERC. They're oil white, I think they're oil impregnated. Uh, 1958 pillar. All right, I filled out the one here, the building green paper. Oh, wow. All the checkpoints. Were you that or leave this blank? One of the two. Okay. Because you'll have to get the winds from flight service Monday morning. I leave the temperature blank until, until that morning, but you can have everything else, you know, figured. So they're out there working on the R22, try to get it ready for Monday. Gary's going over some cross-country stuff for him for Monday, and I'm jumping back on editing. So we don't normally work Saturdays, but hey, check ride crunch. And it's really not even a crunch. We're really looking pretty good for his check ride Monday. Looking real good. Got some help with editing. Editing. So I picked up a little tip in Faustoria from the mechanic there that uh, runs the airport. He says that on a hot start, you will want to cycle the fuel around with the boost pump with the mixture off and throttle off. Then as you go to start it, you will not prime it. You will just turn on the mags, get the starter going, and when the engine starts to hit, push in the mixture slowly. As soon as it's running, get the boost pump on. So, quick update. They got the R22 fixed. I'm gonna go out and fly with Bruce just for a just touch up flight, just kind of overlook everything. Chris is planning on one more time tomorrow before check ride Monday. And a little note, if you're just new to this helicopter world, helicopter training, you always gotta be ready to adapt and change and go with the plan to get people done. In this example, you know, maintenance problem pops up, got everybody here, got it fixed. I don't foresee any problems. Chris says he's doing really good. Gary said he's doing really good. They both said that he's doing really well on everything. He's super on the ground. Of course, he used helicopter ground school. And the flying, Chris said he's really, really good. He said, just touch up the hard stuff. Go ahead, hit the autos do a confined area with him and we should be good to go this is the part that I like I really like you know the help putting the finishing touches on somebody just giving them those little bits and little nuggets of things that really make a check ride go well there is a lot of stuff to know when you go take a check ride but if you stay with the common rules like in the video we recently did on the 10 uh, check ride tips and you stay calm and you stay cool and you stay collected most likely you're gonna get through on the first try and not have a problem People normally get all freaked out and worried right before the check ride. That's normal. Everybody does. Everybody feels that way. But what's really cool is you see somebody as they get closer to check ride day, you see them maybe not do as well. And then somehow the day of the check ride, that little bit of nervousness actually helps you do well. Now I'm not saying every instance, but normally it will help you get through the check ride. So I'm dropping off some food for Gloria. Which is why I really don't like working Saturdays. You know, Saturdays are should be for family and you know should be time for yourself. But in a situation like this, for the good of our members and to help make a check ride go well, Chris says, you know, he goes, he'll just feel better if you jump in with him. So that's cool. Bruce is shut down right now. He did a really, really nice job. I think he's going to be in good shape on Monday. He's going to come back done first time around. Real nice job.